please. Please say something. Diana. What? What is it? You're on my hand. <sighs> Just stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much tea energy to draw on. Did it work? Are they safe? I think so. He even gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp alien. I'm not leaving you in here. <sighs> Damn it, why can't I move this thing? <clears throat> You're as stubborn as your grandmother. You. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. When you've been keeping secrets so long, it's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> You know, back on Earth, my father believed you had to confess your sins if you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. I don't think we're alone out here. God, I hope that wasn't a 
transponder. Let's get some light in here. you look. Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on, huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, my name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 out 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here.
She's been wrong about a lot of things lately. So this is what the recruiter meant by non-aggressive indigenous creatures. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're gonna learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she blad out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace? Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Man, this supply drop couldn't have come sooner. We, the ready stale. And also the pornography. I bet Braddock's has got... Oh, son of a bitch! What's happening up there? Have you, you been killed? No, I made it in one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my rig. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minimap, radar, loadout details, as long as you stay close to the rig. You may come home. Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, no beast. Because the growing orange blood the animals leave behind. You will need it for later. That's fine. See the problem. Give me a second. No be. No how to repair. First you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Heads up, you got incoming. only friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... It's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, glad to see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. 
I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I used to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Blows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Kate and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. He's not responding to any of our calls. All right, keep me posted. Actual, this is Campbell. I'm in distribution with Ermolev. The East Block pipes are frozen over again. Damn it, we just thawed those. All right, get a Gabi over there with the space heaters. That's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm, no, no. Okay, look, uh, make an announcement. Let everyone know we're down to a trickle for now. But uh, contact a Gabi and tell him to hurry up. You got it? Roger that. Campbell out. Peyton, what are you standing around for? Take that elevator down to see Gail and get yourself squared away. That woman you're replacing, Diaz, she was loved by the crew. Nobody talks about her much after she disappeared. She lost her bearings near the end. It was painful to see. It hit Braddock hard. You got big shoes to fill. Just don't die out there, huh? I'll try not to. Welcome to the Coronas Expedition. I believe I have your NDA, contract templates, and union licenses on file. Your standard hazard bonus rates and mileage reimbursement have been uploaded to your union docket. If you have supplemental documents, riders, or provisions you would like to submit at this time, please do so now. I hope you have a lucrative stay, Mr. Payton, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Survival tip number four. Always keep your socks dry while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs and keep a backup pair in your emergency kit. Stay dry. Stay alive. <laughs> 